Hey Couture Bays, it's your girl Brit Brett going live with the Read Talk. I would first like to shout out all our new Couture Bays. We're at 400 out. Shout out to y'all. One of my videos almost has 10,000 views. Thanks to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Cheers. I'm drinking water because I'm going to the gym. I gotta snatch me a daddy or two. Y'all know my birthday coming up. I'm about to, ow. I'm about to pat the pussy and slow wine like Evelyn. But we're gonna talk about basketball watch today. So let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. I would first like to shout out our paid for sponsors. If you have Amazon Prime, you get next day shipping by shopping with my link. You can shop until you drop, get it the next day, and <laughs> call a spade a spade, baby. But it is what it is. Let's get into the mess. I'm gonna just run through the women because honestly, it was tragic. I should have done it Wednesday night, but y'all know I work for Uncle Sugar and Uncle Sugar wants his time. And you see um, our president might be going through impeachment and he might be impeaching Pence and it's a mess. DC is, do you understand me? Like a circus. I wish I had clearance and so I could take out a real tea. But either way it goes, let's get into it. I'm going to start with Shawnee, Miss EP. Girl, you act like the Wichita Fall hoes from Texas. That's what you truly are. Your true colors really came out. You are not only a colorist, you are an instigator. You sat there and lied on OG and told Kristen, but you did touch her like we can't see. Like the cameras can't catch it. Like people didn't put it in slow muck. Trash. You're raising a daughter yourself. Mm. Mm. That's why no man gonna want you, girl. You think you're doing something because you got all these properties, but nobody would know you if you didn't divorce Shaq and try to be something. That's why you've been single all this time. Don't no man want to? You had that young thing, but he was only there because we heard you was giving out chucks. I'm your sugar mama. Now to your colorist bestie, homegirl, Evelyn. <laughs> Miss Pat the puss and wind it down. Miss, I got good puss, but that good puss couldn't get you married. Mm. I'm not understanding why you keep bringing up Chad. You really thought chasing CC down the road, the hill with a bamboo stick. That was a bamboo stick from the tree. And thinking you didn't deserve to get pushed in the bushes. Girl. Not only are you trash, that showed your character. You really not about that life. You are as bottom of the barrel as they come. Okay, we was fine with you having babies for a check. But now you really show who you were, Evelyn. Girl, you tired through and delay, and that puss ain't that good. Cause we don't see none of them old niggas you keep bringing up talking about how they in love with you. Clearly when Chad headbutted you and gave you that Harry Potter scar, he didn't do it right. He should have did it again. Now I'm not one to talk about domestic violence survivors, but I believe everything Tammy said when she was just like, you started that whole thing. The only reason you went with this, I'm a domestic violence survivor is because it had a check attached to it. Mm, I know Iyana is just looking like I should have never had this low bottom of the barrel scum come on my show. Just make me look bad. Now for Malaysia, can I call you Laquisha? Girl, you've been fake this entire trip. It shows when Byron sees this, he gonna cut your ass off too, like he did Kristen and Thomas and go about his life and his day. You told that shit to Evelyn. It was either you or Kristen about some girl sending her puss to her man. Everybody knows Byron Scott is that nigga in LA. But you always talking about my cousin this, my cousin this. You don't care shit about your family. Byron told you to his face, Cece is going to be his wife. He stands with his wife. 
Now, anything else, don't bring it on camera. He's told y'all that already, but y'all don't want to listen. Kristen, you can cry all these crocodile tears, but Cece is not the reason. She's not the reason. You sitting up here, oh, cause Thomas, girl. The pictures were out. I knew whatever that man's name, TK, whatever, or whatever his name was from old ass 80 movies was your husband's daddy. You trying to portray this image. Girl, stop. In my opinion, you're super jealous. You either want to fuck Byron or you want Cece's life. Which one is it, boo? Because this whole, his kids don't even talk to him. Why do you care? Why do you care? That don't got nothing to do with you. Play the position as the wife before you lose your husband. Because let me tell you something, at the end of the day, he gonna wake up and realize what he what's going on is wrong and he gonna want that relationship with his father, the man who raised him. So stop it, girl. Now for <laughs> Jackie, girl. I'm proud of you, sis. You should have drugged Fiji by the heavy ass Marley twist. What what are those? The fake dress, the faux locks. You should have snatched her up and threw her in the pond because she was trying it. We all know that subject was tough for you, but I like how you read her and said, well, go get the next book. Furby. Girl, ain't nobody checking for you. You could tell you literally said all that stuff because Evelyn put you up to it. A fool. A fool. You're not coming back next season. And if they do, you're still going to be a friend of the show or whatever they call it, the guest, guest appearance. All the new teeth and titties in the world ain't gonna make you relevant. You can't read, you can't fight by yourself, and you weak, next. Oh gee, good job, baby. Good job getting them hoes together. And threaten the bitches every time they come at you. And, and Evelyn puts out a little fake ass restraining order Mama, come for every dime she get. Go talk to Carl because we all know Carl like a little dark skin. Just like Chad. And that's what really made me mad because Evelyn can't believe that Chad would be interested into OG as if his baby mothers aren't dark skin. As if his children aren't dark skin. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. That's all I'm saying. Y'all need friends like OG. Y'all calling her aggressive and trying to paint this picture, but baby, we see you. This show's gonna get canceled. And if it's not canceled, nobody is watching. Y'all can start up all this fake drama and beef. Ugh. Bye. 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 Shout out to you, OG. I'm here for it. And CC, you read them hoes, they write. You read them whole day rights and they couldn't take it and they were shocked. I don't know why they trying you like you can't fight. I don't know why they trying you like you won't. You said Roundhouse kicked them in the face. Hiya! You should have did it. You should have walked out. Because the way you swatted that that I know you could fight because you was like oh, and kept it cute. You looked good. Play your position. I can't believe you would run up on me. Honestly, you have more of a claim of following a restraining order against Evelyn than Evelyn does for OG. But if she tries it with your good sis, file that restraining order, baby. File it and just say, I was scared. And they'll believe you because you fit the description of a true, rich, classy white woman. Yes. Now, as for Jennifer not being on the trip, I'm not understanding at all especially shawnee if you was gonna have all this chaos and confusion a mess this is why you suck as an executive producer and and that's a baby credit she needs to be fired she needs the mariah hawk treatment kick her ass off the show so it can be organic organic this is why the real housewives of atlanta franchise is booming in other locations along with married to madison vh1 you will never be on the level of Bravo if y'all keep allowing these raggedy ass hoes to do mess like this. It's just, ugh. Keep pushing them boycotts, y'all, because Evelyn is, ooh, they said if y'all don't fire Evelyn, the show needs to be canceled. And I'm here for it. 
Anyways, give me your thoughts and opinions down below. I gotta go. Bye. Everybody who rode in an ambulance car, I throw your hands up. If you walk in the ambulance car